Hello, this movie is about a nice little magnet script which works like a regular phone. I can write a single text line with this script. The control geometry contains a grid of rectangles. In every rectangle uh, there is placed a regular character and a drawing. The script pairs those two components and we can draw inside the rectangle a group of objects, whatever we want. Okay, uh, maybe you ask why we should do this. Uh, we have our, our wonderful uh, true type forms. Always, uh, also we have a single line engraving true type forms. Uh, but one issue with them is if I convert them to polylines, I always have two curves because the true type uh, font always have two curves. Also, the curves are, are splines or basic curves, not uh, radial. Um, curves and if I use a vectorized um, font for scene simulating it, it is better to have a radial um, curves. So this is one uh, use case. The other use case is to have a, a font which is uh, which lo looks nice in the um, sketch style of Vectorworks and with this plugin we can draw whatever we want and use it as a uh, font like here. We got um, just a scanned hand handwriting and make a font out of that. Let's take a look on the script. I have the script here for debugging on a separated layer. I use the name input to simulate the control geometry input. And the heart of the script is this custom node here. It collects all those uh, objects and make a Python uh, dictionary um, data type out of it. Um, this looks so. I have the character and this character match to this object. This is an object handle um, ID here. And then I have the width of the character and the coordinates uh, where the character is uh, in the control geometry. Um, this input here is just a string input. I flatten it to have every character separated uh, for this dictionary input and out of the dictionary input um, there is the, um, the geometry with the date of the geometry and I put them together and have a scale um, option here and uh, that's all. I have this script with some small modification here. The first modification is I have um, a symbol input instead of a control geometry, which can be the bad option to have uh, a symbol here. And the other modification is the text input. I have a delimiter, so a uh, not just input single characters, I input uh, words, uh, strings. And I use these strings um, as uh, characters. So um, in this example, it's just a test. It's not a big design, but it's just for testing. In this example, I am allowed with entering keywords to create um, a shelf. Um, here the, the symbol looks like this. I have uh, just objects um, which uh, are named with this uh, text field and I have some kind of code to um, insert those objects. Uh, the same as I can do with symbols but uh, maybe faster and more flexible. It's just an idea what uh, other great things we can do with this uh, script example. Thanks for watching, have fun, bye bye, tschüss.